Another problem that we run into frequently is the improper use of Google Fonts. So bring up fonts.google.com. There's lots and lots to choose from. I happen to really like Roboto. It has 12 different styles or weights. So if I select that one, I can see that it's got thin and lightweight and regular and medium and black, and those are really great to work with. I'm going to use thin for my body font, so I'm going to click the plus. Notice the red dot, it gets added to the selected families. And then I'm going to jump down here to the 400 weight, and I'll click plus and add that one. So now when I view my selected families, I'm downloading the Roboto font with a thin and a regular. Down here is the code. There is a link option and there is an at import option. Do not use at import, it's slower. Link is the fastest way to access it. So let's copy that code. We'll come back to the index and right here somewhere before the closing head tag, I'll paste those three lines. And then scroll down a little bit and don't forget the CSS rule. So let me copy that one, come to my base, and I like to put it in the body tag. So it's now using Roboto. Remember that in my HTML, I was using the 100 weight and the 400 weight. So when I go back to base, my font weight can either be one or four. I'm gonna go ahead and set the default to 100. If we now look at our project, we can see the new font is being used everywhere.